January 16, 2007. Oklahoma State versus Texas. The scene of one of the greatest buzzer beaters you'll ever witness. Shot clock is down to five. Bogan, triple team. Passed out of it. Eton trying to save it. Flips it up. And it's going to go. It's going to count. Here's how it went down. The shot clock is running down to zero. OSU guard Byron Eton chases after a ball heading out of bounds and sends up a heave ho toss from the edge of the court with just a split second glance at the basket. Nothing but net. What did Eton do to sink such a perfect shot? And can he do it again? To find out, we bring in the guard who made this miraculous shot, Byron Eton. And to feed him a deliberately terrible pass, one of the NBA's best passers, Katino Mobley. Good to see you. What's up, boss man? Byron, good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? What we want to do is we want to recreate this crazy shot you made. Take a look at this and we want to know what's going through your mind. How did you do it? We tried to get the ball inside to our big guy, Mario Bogan, that was uh, having a pretty good game. They all triple team. Man, I just tried to get to the open spot, and he overthrew me. So when the ball was going out, I tried to hustle it down. I tried to just throw it in so we could try to get the rebound. And it went in. I was just real happy. Trying to save it. Flips it up. And it's going to go. Katina, you look baffled. I, I, that's amazing right there. I don't think I can do that right now in my <laughs> well, stage. Well, what we want to figure out is can you do that again if you try? If I get warmed up, give me my five trials that I can do again. Five tries. Sounds like a bet to me. Are you willing to I like wager? That. I, got, I got a $2 bet. <laughs> that goes a long way in college. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the challenge? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. <laughs> can Eton recreate his once-in-a-lifetime highlight? He's got five chances to make it happen. You ready to set this up? Let's You're going to be the passer. Let's go. I'm going to give him a good pass, too. I'm going to give him a good pass. Yeah. All right. I'm not just going to try to take the $2. Yeah. <laughs> good pass. Let me give him a good pass. Which ball you want? You want the uh, college ball or you want the NBA ball? You want the little man ball or the, or the grown up ball? <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> I mean, it really don't matter. <laughs> they both the same. Anyone, whichever one better for you to pass. I love it. I'm gonna take that money. I'm gonna give you a couple of them French fries. And I'm gonna buy. <laughs> I hit the rim. Yeah, we I need mean, to win. That too. I mean, I'm close. That's going. That got to go in. <laughs> oh, I'm out. That's bucket though. Oh, that's good right there. Oh. I can tell you, that was out of bounds already. That wasn't count. That, that count. That was out of bounds already. Yeah. That wasn't count. Yeah. That was already, it was already out of bounds. It was already out of bounds. He's out of bounds. The shot won't be, it won't count anyway. Well, right? You know what? I'm going to get my money after this. <laughs> Since Byron claims Catino fed him a bad pass, we'll give him that one. But his total still stands at four shots and four misses. One of the demand placed on vision. Ooh. The incredible thing about that not only was the shot, it was a tip ball that he was running to catch. The eyes go from close to a distance of some 30 feet away and launch the ball and make a shot. It's just a hit phenomenal. In fact, Byron's eyes had to shift focus instantly from the ball in his hands to the rim. This near to far shift is called accommodation. From the time he catches the ball until his eyes find the rim, it takes 19 hundredths of a second for him to lock onto the target. And in the next half second, based on his vision, Byron must make three critical trajectory calculations, range, launch angle, and release velocity. When Byron made his original shot, the range was 33 feet. Release velocity, 24 miles per hour. 
and launch angle 64 degrees. The launch angle is critical because it reduces the margin of error. The 18-inch hoop is roughly twice the diameter of the ball, so a ball coming in at 90 degrees has the maximum margin of error, four and a half inches in every direction. For Byron's shot, a 64-degree launch angle means his margin of error is just two inches. If his calculations are off for any of these variables, he'll be throwing up bricks. In his first two attempts, his launch angle was off by two degrees. On his next two attempts, the velocity was off by just one mile an hour. Can Byron get all these variables to sync up and duplicate his miraculous shot? He's down to his fifth and final attempt. Oh yeah, that's all I need right there. There we go, there we go, right there. Amazingly, on only his fifth attempt, Byron is able to recreate his miracle shot right down to the perfect switch. Great job. Sweet. Great job. Nice Great job. Nice. How, does that, how does that feel? Obviously, you know something that everybody else in the world doesn't know. Um, I mean, it's no secret. I mean, it's just, just being able to turn your body, your body and just uh, throw the ball towards the goal. Byron makes it sound easy, but to reproduce this insane shot, his split-second computations are dead on. Range, 33 feet. Launch angle, 64 degrees. Release velocity, 24 miles an hour. The calculations are anything but easy, and the result... We got some good news and some bad news. The good news? You did make the shot. You proved you could do this again if you tried. Yeah. He's modest, though, right? <laughs> this kid's modest. I love it. I love it. Bad news, you're not going to get to collect your money because yeah, we yeah. don't bet on sports. Yeah, yeah, no bet, no bet. You know, it was just a friendly bet. You know, I was happy to see him make it.